All right, so how challenging has it been to pull together this year's series with everything going on? You know, it was a challenge, but fortunately we were a year into the pandemic so uh, having Zoom available really helped out and it helped us to do it virtually without any problem. So can you talk about some of the topics you're going to discuss? We're going to be discussing uh, all week, next week, beginning on Monday. We're going to replay how do we begin uh, uh, racial healing and our Secretary of, the, of State kicks that off next week. Monday, that's just a repeat of a, that was done, a video panel that was done on MLK birthday. And then uh, we will move into striving for abundance, uh, winning abundance in, uh, uh, in our lives. And the author of, of that book will be with us, uh, Morgan uh, Williams from Buffalo. She will be with us. We will have 50 years of black entrepreneurship in Muskegon, a family affair, uh, and that will be debuting at Muskegon, uh, at Muskegon uh, Museum. Um, and and uh, we will also have the White Cross, a look at um, evangelical ministry and how it has impact race in our country. And lastly, we will have a spoken word Black Excellence, and that will be uh, sponsored by the Muskegon Black Professional Club, and they will be doing uh, poetry. So every day next week, there will be something going on. And Dr. Smith, can you talk a little bit more about the half century of Black-owned businesses in Muskegon? You've uh, subtitled the online presentation, It Runs in the Family, and we believe that this is a close topic to you. Yes, it's very close. Uh, my parents uh, were the owners of Smitty's Furniture, which opened in 1968, and they were in business for 25 years, thanks to the civil rights uh, legislation that was passed in 63. And uh, during that time, prior to and during that period that they were open, many black businesses uh, opened in the area. Some people don't remember that in the state of Michigan, we were the uh, furniture capital of the world. And, uh, and my parents thought, well, they would be the first black owned furniture business. And they were, and at that time in Muskegon Heights, there were no less than four furniture stores in Muskegon Heights alone. Some interesting stuff. Dr. Smith, thank you for being with us. We certainly appreciate it.